and welcome everyone. Today we're going to do a quick review and comparison. I've got two of these vehicles from the Hot Wheels Fast and Furious Motor City Muscle Premium Series. We have here the 61 Chevy Impala with the real riders and the 1972 Ford Gran Torino Sport also with the real riders. We're going to crack these babies open and take them for a spin. And we're also going to give them a comparison. We have the mainline version of the 61 Chevy Impala and we also have the mainline version of the 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport. So we'll be able to compare all four and see the quality differences. Hmm. Take them all for a spin. So let's get started. Let's get the Chevy Impala opened up first. Right off the bat, even the package is harder to open than a main line. Wow, I like the chrome detailing around the back windows, around the windshield. Of course, I love the real rider wheels. The signature round tail lights in the back. The metal chassis with the metal bumper. Can't beat that. Really nice. What a beautiful car. What a beautiful heavy casting as well. Perfect stance. Oh wow, I love that you can see the Chevrolet logo on the grill painted in. The headlights are painted white. Very classy. You can see the Chevrolet riding across the hood. Awesome. I love that. You also can see the Chevrolet Impala insignia on the side quarters. Now let's give a comparison with the main line. The main line is really nice. It's a lot lighter because it has the plastic chassis. Of course you don't get the Chevrolet emblem and the detail of the grill. Wow, look at the detail difference on those grills. Amazing. The main line, the red is a slightly different color. And the interior is white instead of, instead of black. Which is cool. That way you can have them both and there's still some variation. No sense in them both being identical. You still, however, do get the insignia on the side. Which is good. You don't get none of the chrome around the windows, however. Two wonderful castings, just beautiful. Very nice. I like the red on the on the um, the premium version. I like that red much better than the red on the main line. They both look great, but I, I do like the red on the premium version much better. I guess you would call that candy apple red, maybe. Or lipstick red. On another note, this is also the same casting that I used to build the number two demolition derby car in a previous video. That's the same main line as this one. Just been totally customized with the wheel swap and, and the dents and the chains and the bar across the door. If you're interested in how I get this look, you can check out the Demolition Derby videos. Demolition Derby Turtles and Dents. I got some other videos on how to paint them as well. They're way down at the bottom. That's some of the first videos that I made. Alright. What a wonderful lineup. Let's move on to our Ford Torino and give it a comparison with the Torino main line. And don't forget to check out my Demolition Derby video. It was a fun build. 
I'd like to do another one soon. I think we'll do another Chevy. I'm thinking about doing a 64 Chevy Impala next. Okay, let's get the Torino cracked open. This is one of my favorite cars of all time. When I was growing up, my grandpa had a 74 Torino. More like the Starsky and Hutch version, I guess. Not the Starsky and Hutch version, but same year. Very nice. This has that ceramic paint finish. These premium paint finishes are amazing. Almost indestructible. Wow. What a beautiful car. Uh. I don't understand why it has chrome interior, but that could easily be changed. Let's get the main line. The main line also has the chrome interior except the white graphic going down the side is slightly different than the white graphic on the premium the premium white graphic looks much nicer better placement as well awesome wheel choice however the mainline version the roll pans on the front and back are both green like the car not the exact same color but they are green and the roll pans on the premium look chrome because the chassis is metal they should actually be the same color as the body and actually in real life but still a nice casting I'm not complaining it's just interesting that the mainline cheaper version is more true to how it would be in real life with those areas being green instead of chrome very nice I don't see much difference in the paint color like you do in the two Chevys of course you see a big difference back here with the tail lights being painted that looks a lot better and of course big difference with the front ends this metal chassis really adds to the front end on the premium model boy the premium model looks fantastic they both look fantastic but more realism on the premium model of course both are very nice I'm happy with both I'll be keeping both of the Torinos nice. and probably the other probably both of the Impalas and well I'll probably keep those two do it just very nice. I wish I could have got the whole set, but these were the only two they had at the store. I couldn't find anything else. If I do, maybe we'll do another review on those. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to make a contribution to the channel, you can purchase something in the eBay store. There is a link in the About section and a link at the top of the home page if you're on your home computer don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos I hope everyone stays safe and healthy and I'll be talking to you soon